Hello, welcome to a quick video. Just gonna wanted to uh, preface this uh, uh, live stream members only that I'm releasing everybody now for you to view. I've clipped out the first roll that I went through and added it to this video. So if you just want a, a quick peek at, at the video, feel free to watch this. I cut out some of the um, dead air, dead space and stuff um, and shortened up the first roll a little bit for the video here. There is um probably about 15 minutes worth of video there after this so um i hope you enjoy that if you'd like to watch the full live i'm going to release that as well um decided not to really edit it down i might cut off the beginning just the the wait to start there um but then uh, it will uh, just be unedited the rest of the way um so the roles are we're going through some very special roles really awesome as you'll see here in a minute and again if you'd like to watch all five rolls that I went through and uh, uh, see what was going on feel free to um, so for the this uh, June's members only video trying to figure out if I if I'm gonna have a good date to do a live stream do more of the rolls if not I'll do a, a video and just put it out like I have been previously and we'll go from there. It might be some more of the roles in the video and I might do a special giveaway just for the members only for that video or I might do something else. I haven't quite decided but uh, here in a week or two I will know for sure um, and should let you know by then. This week might be a short video for weeks. This week or next week might be a short video for weeks. I've just been really busy. Haven't had time to film stuff. I haven't had time to edit things so I figured I would uh, film this toss it with this video and put it out and uh, let everyone uh, enjoy the uh, wonderful pennies that came out of this hunt. Uh, just the first roll here, we had a ton of finds and then the rest of the hunt we had some other awesome finds, gave away some coins, had some fun on the, on the uh, members only stream there and I hope everyone who showed up for the stream that happened right before the nickel uh, the Nichols uh, rolls that I was going through had a good time and a wonderful time there as well. All right, well, uh, thank you very much. I do hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and uh, I do hope you have time to check out the, uh, the live stream and check out all the rolls. Um, feel free to skip around in that video and uh, find the rolls. You know, fast forward to the finds if you want, or sit there, sit down, and just uh, in, enjoy an hour of, of a coin hunt and with some uh, little pauses in here for saying hi and talking to the chat and stuff so all right well thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoy the rest of the video and have a great day oh i forgot to wave intro take 473 cue music cue coins yeah. all right awesome now pick them up i'm not rich All right, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for joining me, members, all the new members and all the existing members who have made it for the live version of this. Um, I can't promise I'll do this ever, be able to do a live version every month, but I'll try to do these live um, once a month for you while we have them. Um, at least some of the box, at least. And then we'll go from there as things going on. Um, so welcome, welcome in. So what we got here, this is a Ma and Pa penny box. And if you are not aware of what these are, Pa Spare Time um, had a someone he knows at a bank um, uh, reached out and say, hey, I've got this, old, this uh, older couple who is dropping off these re-rolled pennies um, that they have been collected over the years. And uh, during the coin shortage, uh, use quotations there, the coin shortage. They decided they were going to help out with the coin shortage and take all the coins that they had collected over several decades. And this is an older older couple. And they rolled up all their pennies and uh, that they had jugs and jugs of pennies that they had collected for many, many, many years. Um, many decades. And they rolled them up, took them back to the bank. And uh, there was probably about, there was a, a bunch of boxes full that the bank teller got and they got with Paul and said hey I've got these if you'd like them they got some really old stuff in here some cool stuff 
and uh, that's what or where he got those from and that's and I got this one from him and this is one of the the last ones he had and he was uh, giving them away last year as part of the um, suicide prevention charity that he was running Jim Cantor discovered the rolls awesome I couldn't remember who discovered the rolls but yeah they got to Paul and uh, yeah man I've seen I saw him open some um, I actually got to open some rolls when I was in town with them um, uh, last year when we went to the coin shop coin the coin uh, coin show out there um, and there there was a ton of wheat scents some old stuff Indian head scents um, some foreigns they've even found silver dimes and on a handful of boxes a very handful of boxes they did find some old Mexican gold pieces in here I don't think we'll find that but that would be awesome if we did um, so yeah let me crack into this and we're gonna pull out a couple rolls and it looks like yeah one roll over here busted open now, let's see right on top 1946 wheat scent on top from the busted roll yeah so there's gonna be a ton of wheat scents um, I'll probably try to pull out some rolls over here so I can get this roll that busted open. And we're going to go through, I'm going to try to do five rolls. Um, and we'll see how things go. Um, let me pull these out. This will be the first roll we sort through. Look at this. I just pulled this out. We got a still scent. Got a still scent. I'm going to grab my magnets. <laughs> the busted open roll. There's another wheat scent right there. So these rolls are going to be fun to go through. These roll, yeah. Like I said, the the nickel rolls that I was opening earlier, Royce, that had nothing to do on these. That has nothing to do with these. And these came from the bank teller. I don't know if this is going to work, <laughs> but let's find out. There might be two rolls that busted open there. All right, I think that's the rest of that roll. Got four rolls over here. Got this roll here. I already see three or four or five wheat cents in this one roll. Let's see. So, oh, look at that. You see that? Right there. We already got a blazer. I already got a blazer. It's probably going to have 50s. Ooh, a 54 out of Denver. How about that? There, I'm going to put that on the close up cam. That's so shiny. How about that? That is a blazing right. Man, yeah, see, it? these these rolls. Ooh, I, like I said, I've been dying to get into these rolls. Um, I think the newest coins they found in the rolls were 2012s, but they do go all the ones. Oh, nice. You found a uh, 1917 Merc Dime in one of the rolls? That's awesome. Yeah, I, I did go through some rolls. Um, I did hit a... I did hit a Burke Dime. I did hit a Silver Canadian. Um, I think I hit uh, an Indian Head Scent and a ton of wheats. ton of wheats. Oh, I did hit an old, I think it was an 1889, a 1889 German coin was in, was in one of the rolls I, was look, I looked at. That was cool. Yeah. Man, that is a nice wheat scent. Found a bunch of Blazer wheat scents. Um, look at that, 1954 out of Denver. Beautiful, beautiful. And we got this 1940 uh, pulled out. 1940S was on top. So hopefully you can see the microscope pretty good there. Here's another wheat. 1951 out of Denver. Oh, no, San Francisco. I was wrong. But yeah, I've, I've been wanting to get into these rolls for so long. And uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I got to try to get set up to do a live stream for this stuff. There's a 1950 wheat set. Four. I mean, I'm just picking through and I'm seeing like eight of them. 1935. This one's a little rough. 1935. Yeah. Let's see. 30s will go over here down towards the end. And then 1987 out of Denver. 
2000 out of Denver, 1984. 1984, you can find a double ear um, there. I do not see the double ear. And one thing I like about these is these been these have been in these were in their um, coin jugs and jars for so long that a lot of these have never been checked for errors and varieties. So that's pretty cool. There's just 57 out of Denver. Um, these the 50s, especially the 57, you can find die chips in here in between the B and E and in between any of the letters. B I E die chip errors, what those are called. Um, oh yeah, here's that blazing red 1960 out of Denver. I check that for repunch mint marks or the large date over small date, which I don't see. This is a large date Denver. That's a little bit of a die chip in the R there. If you can see that, I don't keep all the copper cents. I don't have that much money <laughs> to be able to afford that. Um, I do have a small collection of some copper cents. I try to keep, if it's a nicer one, I try to keep some. Oh, we got a Canadian too, and it's an old one. I'm just digging under the wheat cents. This is a young head. Um, Laureate portrait, 1956. Canadian, right there. Look at that young Queen Elizabeth. 1956. I always flip these upside down the wrong way. Canadian coins made their coins flip the wrong way. They flip with the metallic turn is what it's called. Where it's side to side. I just call it the wrong way. There's so much stuff here. I'm gonna have I'm gonna run out of room putting things. There's a couple more wheat cents here. 1945, weedy. 1956 out of Denver. Hopefully you can see okay in the camera here. Um, 1956. We'll move all this over a little bit. Uh, again, I'm probably going to run out of room. And then we have this still sign I already pulled out here. 1943 out of San Francisco. There are some repunch mint marks and some odd uh, double dies you can find on those as well. I don't see that, but that's a still scent, Canadian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine wheat cents so far in this roll that did bust it open. 76 out of Denver. 1992 out of Denver. This has a variety. It's supposed to have a gap in between the A and the M. That's normal. If it was close and touching almost, that would be a variety and a good one at that. Those are worth quite a bit. 68, rough one, 76. 86. <laughs> yeah, I just like giving y'all a hard time there, Dinger. Um, Canadians. Everything's backwards. <laughs> 2008. I think the latest is you, you're going to find in these rolls are around 2009, 2010, somewhere there. There's a 1970S. That one, I have a small date. That one looked like a large date. This is a small date. Um, the small date, if you drew a line across the top, all of it would be touching, and across the bottom from the one to the zero, everything would fit in the lines. The small date, the little pointer points more this way. So I found this one in the coin shop rolls. <laughs> um, this one, you see how the seven and the zero look a little bit bigger. The seven is a little bit lower, and if you drew lines, the seven would be hanging out the bottom. And then the large date, the thing is pointing more south than east. So that's a normal 1970S. And you can find a double die up here. And then God, we trust on those. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy this members only live hunt. Um, I do any of the new members, feel free to go check out any of the members only stuff that I haven't released to the general public yet. There is a one minute dime hunt that I put out that I just, oh, I'm just going to film this and I'll just put this out to members only. Had some finds in there. 
1985, 1983 out of Denver. That one has a double ear that's not very well known. It's Cherry Picker Sky variety, but it's not very well known. That is a beat up 94. Oh, that is a, yeah, that one's, yeah. You see that, that one played, played hopscotch with the road a little too much. 75 Denver, 88 out of Denver. So a lot of this stuff I do off camera when I hunt coins. Uh, there's some gunk there. We look, I look for the 88, uh, reverse the 89, the flared FG. Never found one, but that would be awesome. 1963 out of Denver. Check for a repunch mint mark, and then there are some double die offers over here on Liberty. Um, those are out on Variety Vista, I believe. Um, most knowledgeable with the pennies. So, on the 1969s, you can find a FG missing FG there. This one has the FG, even though it's worn. Um, 2003. 99 out of timber. 2004. Here's the newer one that I come across. 2004. There is double dies you can find up in here. And then there is a ton of double dies. If it's nicer, you can see a little bit of double ink here in the in some of the things. And there are a ton of those that have been found. 2006. 2003. Hey, Jesse, thanks for coming along. Um, this first roll from this mom and pop penny box, two, four, six, eight, nine wheat cents, a 1956 Canadian, and we already got a, a still cent in that this roll, plus a blazer 1964 blazing Denver. So yeah, this is just the first roll I'm going through. Um, and if y'all have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I haven't figured out any like background music to play on the 61. 1961 out of Denver, that has a, a D over horizontal D you can find. Um, that one is a more rare one and has a little bit of value. I have come across one of those. Um, I think I got it slapped recently. And probably worth about 50 bucks in circulated condition. Slabbed and graded. That was an 89. 89. Usually when I hunt, I go through all these, I look at the coins, I check them out. Um, 1966 has a double die obverse um, where the date and the, um, the motto up there is a little more, is where you can see it the best. 1954S, another wheat scent down here in the bottom of the pile. 1954S, nice. That makes four, six, eight, ten wheat cents. Ten wheat cents were one roll in. That's a 2004 out of Denver, 96, and a really nasty, dirty 89. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, Feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.